हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर भरत चंद्रा टुडे टॉपिक रिपीटेडली क्रैशिंग 20 परसेंट बट स्टिल बाउंसिंग बैक इज इन्फोसिस स्टॉक्स रियल सरप्राइज मेनी इन्वेस्टर्स थिंक दैट ए फंडामेंटली स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टॉक्स विल नेवर फॉल एंड गो अप कंटिन्यूसली दे थिंक ओनली इफ वी सेलेक्ट वीक स्टॉक्स दे मे फॉल एंड दे मे फॉल कंटिन्यूसली टू we may lose a large portion of our capital because of that however this is not the truth we did a basic research to see how one of the most famous stocks has performed you can do a similar analysis for other stocks to make similar observations we analyzed how many times infosys shares have fallen by more than 20% from recent peak since the year 2000 Now all those twenty-one instances in which Infosys fell more than twenty percent is listed. Number one, March two thousand fell by fifty-four percent. July two thousand fell by twenty-eight percent. September two thousand fell by thirty percent. November two thousand fell by thirty-one percent. January two thousand one fell by fifty-nine percent. May 2001 minus 49 percent, January 2002 minus 37 percent, December 2002 minus 45 percent, April 2006 minus 26, February 2007 minus 26, October 2007 minus 38, June 2008 minus 41, January 2011 minus 22. July 2011 minus 27, February 2012 minus 28, March 2013 minus 26, March 2014 minus 24, June 2016 minus 28, September 2019 minus 24, February 2020 minus 34, January 2022 minus 21%. now we have some observations and comments as usual our suggestion please read these observations and comments minimum 2 to 3 times first one so infosys has fallen by 20% or more on 21 occasions in the last 22 years hence on an average almost once a year this is likely to be a stock price fall of 20% or more Number two, Infosys is not a very volatile stock compared to other stocks such as Bajaj Finance, Titan, Reliance, etc. In more volatile stocks, the number of times the stocks that have fallen by more than twenty percent will be higher. Third, the intention of this research is to show how confident a long-term investor needs to be. with this stock selection and research most investors will sell their stocks when there is a huge fall such as 30 to 40% in the stock price if you are confident about the future of the company you can hold otherwise you may need to sell both decisions are very important fourth observation it does not mean that we need to hold stocks continuously hoping that they will always recover many times good companies also deteriorate and may never recover to their past glory example vhl dlf suzlon s bank etc fifth observation stock selection is only half the work done in long term investing monitoring and deciding whether to continue to hold a stock or not is a most crucial decision sixth observation most new investors think that once they get a list of stocks to invest they are sure to make profit this is not true and many experienced investors would have learned this lesson by losing money in stock markets the mistake they would have done is to continue investing or holding a stock in spite of deteriorating or weak fundamentals do this exercise for the stocks you hold and see how many times they have fallen by more than 20% from the recent peak at least 
you will know what to expect in the future too. Final decision on whether to hold a stock or not should be the investors. If we take a decision based on somebody else's research, it will be difficult to become successful in the stock markets on the long run. Finally, at the end of this video, here is a question for our survey. Have you held on to a stock even after a huge crash in price and experienced permanent loss of a capital? If yes, type the name of the company. If no, type no. Send this video to all your friends and the video content is good. Don't fail to press the like button. Thank you for watching the whole video. Bye bye. All the best.